my warmest greetings to the organizer of EPSIS 2021, presenters and participants. I'm Lavaneswari Manogaran. I'd like to present my article entitled Student Teachers' Perception Towards Teaching and Learning Calculus in Institute of Teacher Education, IPG. Background of the study. Calculus is a course that typically includes functions, limits, differentiation, integration, and various applications. Several studies have shown the crucial demand of calculus in various disciplines as its huge applicability. Among all the courses of higher education institutions in Asia, calculus seems to be an adores course and many students confront us various challenges and poor performance in this course. One of the reasons for fearing a specific mathematic course is due to the judgmental of the students that the course is excruciating, difficult and accompanied by the thought that it's dry course and not interesting. There is a growing number of studies urging the need to view the perception of students about mathematic causes. There are evidence proving the lack of studies exploring the view of students about mathematic causes. Therefore, this study aims to fill in the gap by seeking to identify the student-teacher's perception about teaching and learning calculus in IPG. This is because comparing any other mathematic causes, such as algebra, statistics, decision mathematics, the performance of the IPG student, IPG students in calculus in and is inadequate. Therefore, there is a necessity to observe this course from the inside of the student teachers. As such, four important aspects has been observed. Namely, of calculus, importance of calculus, experience about calculus, teaching in calculus classroom. Objective Seven objectives in study to identify student teachers' perception about the nature of calculus, to identify student teachers' perception about the importance of calculus, to identify student teachers perception about the experience in class to identify student teachers perception about the teaching and learning approach in class classrooms determine whether there is a significant difference between male and the female student teachers perception in teaching and learning class determine whether there is a significant difference between urban and student teachers perception in teaching and learning calculus determine whether there is a significant and differences between DLP or dual language program and the non dual language program student teachers perception in teaching and learning calculus methodology participants are from thematic education background and completed the calculus course MTS 3083 in semester 2 year 2 of the PISMP Mathematics for Primary Education Program in Teacher Education Institution. institution. Purposive sampling was carried out consists of 116 student teachers who have responded to the questionnaire. Survey method using a questionnaire where the questionnaire consists of section A and section B. Section A is the demographic in and section B prices of items and query information of student teachers view about the nature of calculus, the importance of calculus, experience about calculus and calculus classroom teaching and learning approach. From bar alpha coefficient ranging more than 0 0.86 indicating good internal consistency Reliability of the instrument for the four aspects. 
data were analyzed in two different ways in the form of descriptive and inferential analysis. Findings In terms of gender, there were more female respondents than the male. In terms of place of origin, students responded students in the form of programs the more dual, dual language program students responded than the non-dual language program students student teachers view calculus as one of the difficult and challenging causes among all student teachers view calculus as crucial in developing their higher order thinking skills on the contrary Calculus may not serve the purpose or be handy for them to teach in primary schools. Student teachers experience learning calculus was with the concept and strategies of mathematics accompanied by formulas, principles and procedures in logical steps. Hence, if they were given a choice to further the advanced calculus courses, most of them disagree and they are not interested. All the lessons are lecture and tutorial based. The reason is because of COVID-19 pandemic. Nonetheless, there were no chance to, to for the students to have any field-based learning for these for these two parts. And there were lack of real life uh, situation and field-based experience in teaching and learning of calculus. There is no in order to answer the hypothesis. There's no significant difference in the score for perception towards teaching and learning of calculus between student teachers. In answering the second half, there's no significant difference between the score and student teachers' perception towards teaching and learning calculus. And third hypothesis, there is a significant difference between the score between the DLP and non dlp student teachers perception towards teaching and calculus conclusion the finding point of student teachers towards calculus teaching and learning is very informative and refreshing as educators if these costs uh, may reform the current teaching and learning of calculus in ipg the redesigning of this calculus may hinder or minimize the obstacle faced by the student teachers as to create more lively and interesting lessons with collective strategies as well as emphasizing the importance of these lessons in the future as primary school teachers. The students of the future will demand the learning support that is appropriate in the situation or context. Nothing more, nothing less. Respect. Thank you.